Let's look at something else. Make sure you watch it all the way through. This work covers a wide range of related subjects. Among these is synthetics. Another is the short sale scheme. In addition to the AMC payout schedule. Never forget to take note of this TR. This is how long the sale will last. If one want, they may opt to sell their 100 shares for less than what they were first paid. If someone sells their company short on the market, they lose money. It looks like there will be two events. In the event that the business fails, those who sold shorted shares can get their money back. They keep all of the money they make since they are not obligated to give away any shares. This subject has received a lot of attention. In a way, the shorts can only get away if AMC goes bankrupt. We've already talked about this problem because AMC short sellers can't get their money back for the billions of synthetics they sent out. In order to do this, AMC must file for bankruptcy and be taken off the stock market. They have made money because they will have to give back the billions of synthetics they made. Since we're talking about money, it's also important to talk about AMC's long-term viability. This is because, among other things, the MOAS rely on the company's survival to keep the squeeze plate going. Retail customers would have sold 99% of their shares if AMC had gone bankrupt. This means that short sellers would have made money because the only way for them to get shares was if the company went bankrupt. As you can see again, they don't have to give back the shares. Why do you need extra cash? That being said, why do things the same way every time? Getting your cash situation better, it's important to make your business last longer. In this case, AMC would not need to raise money to run if they were able to become self-sufficient, which means they could make money from their operations. Surviving and what we've talked about is the shorts are already in display. They have to continuously make synthetics every single day, every single week, every single week, every single month, every single year to make sure that the AMC price doesn't explode to make sure that they don't have to cover but what we've talked about is as long as AMC doesn't go bankrupt, then again, they have to continuously doing this. And it will cost them a ton of money and we're talking potentially millions of dollars every single day, going to billions of dollars every single way, hey guys. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how it's game over for short the one, but 200% short selling imbalance to short allo and many more in this video. So make sure you guys watch until the end straight away taking a look at this. So what we have is an article right now from Seeking Alpha, which talks about AMC likely dead money in 2024. So the point they gave was struggling movie. Theater chain AMC Entertainment announced a $250 million share sale causing the share price to drop over 14% on Thursday the company can only pay for losses in debt repayment through stock races, which makes the risk profile very bad. AMC's repeated stock offerings and struggling core business pose a lot of risk, including the possibility of going out of business. We're going to talk about all of these points today and again how this is obviously wrong. To begin, we know that the price drop was caused by the market's slowdown in algorithms. As we've already talked about, shorts are also dropping the price to stop us from getting funds because they know that AMC's ability to raise funds puts them in a tough spot. First, take a look at this right now to make sure you're reading it right. One of GameStop's points in this story was that AMC was useless since they were now making money. As you can see, AMC is having a hard time and has even thought about shutting down. Right now, they're saying that AMC is a bad company because it's not making money, which is why the price is going down. But if we look more closely, we can see that Games has officially made a profit, but the price has also gone down. Brokers can't use the 75 million shares that Direct 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 filed and took out of the DTC pool for NC clearing and settlement. Because of this, there are now 230 million shares outstanding instead of 305 million shares. This means that the actual DRS corrected short selling deficit for GE is 1,262 shares. We can't figure out how profitable it is right now. If a stock has a lot of short exposure to firms like Citadel Virtue Goldman Citigroup, these firms are shorting the stock and forcing, influencing, and setting the price of the stock to keep going down. That's what they mean when they say that AMC's share price is going down because the movie theater group is having trouble. Now, these two stocks have a lot in common. They have both been hit by clearly naked shorts, fake shorts, and illegal short sellers who tried to change the price of the stock. To help you understand, the points I'm making now seem to be what's on the surface of this article. But if you look deeper, you'll see that these are just the short sellers struggling and panicking and trying to scare you because, once again, it's game over for them. Why would they keep being mean to stores if the play is over and everyone has already bought? Why are these organizations growing so fast? Aren't they made up of HLS? I will definitely buy and hold at the 1% level, which is the clearest sign that the shorts are over. The shorts are scared at first because they are still trying to get you to buy. 
Now understand this, they are not vulnerable to shorting AMC if they have fully covered their short trades and short shares. There's no reason for them to sell, and it doesn't matter what you do with the shares because they have nothing to do with AMC, either long or short. Their request that you sell now is because they need your sale to cover their short positions. This shows that they are still stuck in this play. We can also see that the institution is once again, you know that the risk profile is not good if you're talking about things like the chance of dead money in 2024, the chance that a company will go out of business, etc. Institutions are still buying in, and we're seeing them buy more than they did before. This is true whether it's Vanguard Renaissance or another firm the accumulations by institutions have actually increased quickly. This shows two things. Firstly, shorts haven't been covered, and secondly, institutions are taking advantage of AMC's longevity. They believe AMC has a lot of potential, so they are investing money in it. Right now, there is a huge difference between what we read in reports and what we see in the news. The large banks are purchasing AMC, but the news is encouraging you to sell. If they really care that much about you, they ought to mention the other groups funding AMC. Remember that even though their average price is currently greater than the market price, they are still making purchases. AMC is not being sold, but rather is being kept onto for those whose price is 10 times the going rate. Furthermore, if they had believed AMC would fail, they would have sold their shares months, weeks, or years ago. However, they don't as they are aware of AMC's long-term goals. Moreover, it is evident that AMC is still being manipulated by short hedge fund algorithms. The announcement that AMC may eventually sell 250 million shares caused a 13% decline in the share price. While Elos adjusted the price, AMC retails bought the dip throughout the day. Since apes are not at all offended, the situation we are in is once more a result of the news, and it appears that people are attempting to make it really negative. What we actually do have is retail investors actually buying into AMC, and so what we saw actually on the day of the news release on the day of AMC dropping 14%, in which they mentioned here was actually in fact more buy volume than sell volume now under the normal circumstances when the buy volume is higher than the sell volume you likely see the price go up. But in a case like this, when a buy volume and is bigger than the sell volume, yeah, you still see the price go down, you start to begin to question what is actually happening here. So again, they're trying to talk about the fact that it's because the fact AMC is a struggling movie theater and it caused the share price to drop 14%. But when we take a look at the actual data and you guys can see here one on a day where AMC is C has dropped by 15% for doing the share offering where the buyers are clearly crushing the sales, not one update on borrow fee and shares being lent out and again, just talking about the excessive shares of AMCs that was lent out and being shorted. And so going back again to this statement, and you can see how we have so much data right now to prove how ridiculous this statement is, is the fact that the share price to drop on 14% wasn't due to the bad sentiment of retail investors who are holding on to AMC. It isn't they thought they want to sell AMC because they don't see any more potential. They don't see any benefit. There was no correlation in terms of the price drop and people selling. They all came down to the fact that people, and when I say people, I'm referring to the short sellers who were shorting and suppressing the price of AMC and bid, but yet when the article is released, they're trying to make it look like it's because retail investors are scared and that they are running and. So should you, because again, they want you to sell your shares because they need the real shares of AMC. What else is a bigger matter and against why they're extremely afraid of what's happening right now and why you know it's game over on March 28, 2024. There was a significant increase in fails to deliver at the DTCC firms failed to deliver $4.45 billion worth of U.S. Treasuries. So this marked the highest daily total of FDDs for the year the situation highlights challenges in settlement process and raises concerns about market liquidity and efficiencies. And so these failures deliver occurs when EV setters fails to deliver of buyers fails to receive securities in time to settle a trade. And so what we see right now is firstly like, like Frank's place has um, highlighted here first. The evaluation procedure and the worries of market liquidity, liquidity, liquidity in the market has decreased, as we have already observed. This restricts the amount of money available to hedge funds and short sellers, which is bad news for them because it limits the trades they can make. We've observed that short sellers struggle for AMC when liquidity declines and e-liquidity increases, and this is precisely what we're witnessing now. It is important for us to realize that a new settlement day T1 will replace T2. We're already seeing a lot of financial hardship and how difficult it is for people to make repayments with the present settlement process. You can see even more of the damage it will cause when it moves from T1 to T2, as we discussed with the reverse repository drop and the BTFP's conclusion. Either the hedge funds will decide it's no longer worth it to pay all this money for synthetics, which could make it too risky for regulators, who could then force these hedge funds to cover. 
or they will go bankrupt first, which would cause the shares to skyrocket and force them to cover the shares. It is important to know that filing for bankruptcy means the end of the game, because there are other choices. This talks about what happens after dividends are announced, which is something we've already talked about. After the costs are paid, AMC will the agreement outlines the process by which the group will choose the gifts. The dates for payments and records are set by the board's approval and delivery procedure. A closer look reveals that biotech has carefully thought out every detail. Since the first step is easy, it goes quickly. The next stage will then take one to three months. The board will then have a week to make its case. Then, the record date and the payment date must be separated by one to two weeks. After receiving payment, things are mailed out within a few days to a few weeks. If all goes as planned, you could get a gift as early as June of this year. Note that what follows is based on the best case scenario, meaning that everything goes as planned. Everyone says this is the most beautiful thing they've ever seen. It's meant to make you aware of the chances for achievement. We look at these things if they give us optimism that the intended result is approaching. This could happen, for example, when AMC gets paid. We are aware that if AMC chooses to pay staff, the money will be distributed after a set amount of time. The hype over a prize has also resulted in substantial improvements for AMC. Some who are short on it might want to flip after they see how things like bonus payments and other events impact the market. The reason for this is that sales will rise. As a result, we need to give this significant thought. Let's talk about something that no one is allowed to talk about right now, 